Hi everyone, Mrs Woodward here. I uh, hope you've had a lovely day in the sun and have enjoyed making some elf houses. I look forward to seeing your creativity and what you have made for the elves. So it's time for your bedtime story and today I'm going to share with you a very old traditional tale from a book that I was given when I was seven. It's a very very old book and one of the stories in the book is called The Shoemaker and the Elves. There was once a shoemaker who, through no fault of his own, had become so poor that at last he only had enough leather to make one pair of shoes. That evening he cut out the shoes which he intended to begin making the next morning. And since he was a really good person, he lay down quietly, said his prayers and soon fell asleep. In the morning, when he had prayed, as usual, and was preparing to sit down to work, he found a pair of shoes standing finished on the table. He was amazed and could not understand how they had got there. He took the shoes in his hand to examine them more closely. They were so neatly sewn that not a stitch was out of place and were as good as had been made by a master. Soon afterwards, a customer came into his shop. He was very pleased with the shoes and paid more than the ordinary price for them. So the shoemaker was able to buy leather to make two pairs of shoes. He cut them out that evening and the next day was about to go to work with a very happy heart. But again, he had no need to, for when he woke up, he found two finished pairs of shoes. Customers soon came to buy them. They gave him so much money that he was able to buy leather to make four pairs of shoes. Early the next morning, again, he found four pairs of shoes that were finished and absolutely perfect. And so it went on. He cut out the leather the night before and woke again the next morning with shoes that had been finished and perfectly done. Very soon he became quite a wealthy, quite a rich man. Now one evening, not long before Christmas, when he had cut out all the shoes as usual, he said to his wife, how could it be if we sat up this evening and see who is coming to lend us such a helping hand? His wife agreed, so they lit a candle and hid in the corner of the room behind the curtains. At midnight, two little men appeared. They were wearing very tattered clothing, but they sat down at the shoemaker's table and got to work. They stitched, they sewed, they hammered so neatly and so quickly with their tiny fingers that the shoemaker could not believe his eyes. They did not stop until everything was quite finished and stood perfectly on the table. Then they ran swiftly away. The next day, the wife said to the shoemaker, the little men have made us so rich that we ought to show them our gratitude. We need to say thank you. They run about with tatty clothing and I think we could do something lovely for them. I will make them some shirts and some clothes and some new trousers and you could knit them some lovely socks. <gasps> and we'll also make them some lovely new shoes. The husband agreed and in the evening when they had everything ready, they laid out the gifts on the table for the little elves. At midnight, the little elves came skipping in and were about to set to work, but instead of the leather cut out and ready for them, they found all of the charming, beautiful clothes. At first, they were very surprised. Then they were exceedingly delighted. As quickly as they could, they put on their new clothes and they sang a little song. Now we're dressed so fine and neat, why cobble more for others' feet? Then they hopped and danced about, leapt over chairs and tables and ran out of the door. From that time, the little elves came back no more. But the shoemaker and his wife 
were so well off and felt so lucky that they didn't mind at all. And that's the end. Hope you enjoyed the story. Sleep.